Sergeant Mark Solis's body was found buried in the snow in Banff National Park on February 11, 2015. Colonel Joao Ra issued a statement about the death of the search and rescue technician. Well, I'd first like to uh, offer my thanks to, uh, to Parks authorities for the tremendous work they, uh, they've done in the uh, weather and the conditions that evolved uh, to be extremely challenging for the last few days. The news that Mark's remains uh, have been recovered brings a much, much needed closure to these unfortunate events. I'll offer also my condolences to Mark's family, in particular to Elizabeth and Maurice. Also to his numerous friends, and again in particular, to Master Corporal Dennis Byrne, and to the entire SAR community, which as you may know, is a very close-knit uh, group. Our focus since the accident has been on support. We have assigned uh, assisting officers to help the next of kins uh, with administrative procedures but also to provide the support required in those difficult moments. The CO of 435 has personally went and gone to New Brunswick to meet with the parents. We ensured Mark's peers were also supported, as well as all families here that may uh, require assistance. As you know, every day you have SAR professionals going out in very challenging conditions, and their families are keenly aware of the risk of war. So the support for them is very much needed as well, and we will build on that. Our designated assisting officers and 435 Squadron are now coordinating the next steps. They are ensuring that Mark's body will be appropriately brought to the intended place of funeral. At this time, two locations are advanced by the family, either Winnipeg or Comox. 435 Squadron has assigned personnel to escort the body. Assisting officers continue to assist with the administrative measures and will assist with the funerals as well. Sergeant Celeste and our SAR professionals serve so that others may live. They are the last line of defense for those facing life-threatening situations and require the search and rescue capabilities that only the RCAF can provide. It means they frequently have to operate in the most extreme weather and often in difficult terrain. It is a mission we embrace. However, it is not without risk. We mitigate that risk by training to the highest standards in the environments and in the conditions that represent those in which we operate. Our training is challenging and realistic so that the SAR crew maintain a high degree of operational effectiveness. The risk it involves is not typical of other peacetime <clears throat> missions. Our SAR forces are frequently required to operate at the edge of their capabilities in order to safely and effectively respond when the lives of our citizens are at stake. Yeah. The training is difficult because the mission requires it to be. We honor Sergeant Celis by maintaining our duty and continuing to develop, to train, and to sustain the world's best SAR forces. Right now, we have more questions than answers. The RCAF will immediately initiate an inquiry. It, it is standard procedure. We will examine all facets of the events with the objective of determining what happened and how to prevent it from happening again. He was a leader in the forces by position, by reference, and by expertise. As a sergeant, he had responsibilities. He had earned those responsibilities because of his expertise. But also, his physical presence, he was a large person, six foot five, I believe, but he had a friendly demeanor, and people gravitated to that demeanor. He's a very patient man, uh, always taking the time to answer people's questions. 
And then he also was technically capable and competent. He was the strongest climber that we had, or have at 435 Squadron, and other members would go to him for guidance and expertise. He also took those skills and he took and he participated a lot in community search and rescue. The man gave in every aspect that you could ask, and he was a textbook sergeant. Solis had been swept off a cliff during a training session. Solis was 44 and single. Jim Bender, Winnipeg Sun.